So we're here at Lighthouse Cafe. This is my friend Sarah. Cheers to the mudders. <laughs> when I began writing it, it was actually about, kind of about death. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lo. I'm a singer songwriter and I deal with eczema and I like to explore LA and beyond. And today I'm at Point Magoo State Beach. Just trying to soak up the last of the summer and spend my weekends at the beach. I've pretty much been at the beach every weekend. Today, hunting on, just kind of hanging out here, having lunch, and also I'm gonna be fishing. I'm really enjoying going to different beaches and trying different piers and then also just trying different shore fishing. Seems like a pretty chill beach, not a lot of people. Feels really good out here right now, so I'm excited to like get in the water and whatnot. because I know for sure that it's gonna be okay to get in the water and I'll be able to fish from the shore there where the waves aren't too crazy. Well, I'm kind of scoping it out and the waters over here look red, more like a brown red, but not really sure why. There's not too many people in the water. Why are the waters red in winter? If you happen to know why this happens, comment down below. Because I'm really curious. I don't know if it's like similar to red tides. Um, or what? So, there's definitely something going on. It's really weird being here when the water's like this. It's just like, it's like creepy in a way. goodness so now that I'm in a place where I can just talk um, so I need you was actually written back in 2012 It was written even with like a totally different strumming pattern where actually I was I was actually picking it. I was even picking a different chord. So when I was listening back to the voice memo, it, it's just kind of crazy because you just realize how different a song can start and like where it can end up. And the song, if you haven't heard it yet, um, features one of my really good friends, Renson Willis, and he plays the harmonica on it and he just like totally made the song come to life and made the song become the song that it is today. Um, when I began 
began writing it, it was actually about kind of about death and about losing someone, losing your significant other to death. So in 2012, when I when I wrote that, I did lose some people in my life, and and I was also kind of talking to God. There's a lyric that says, "Can you save me? Can you save me from myself?" Because of just like the depression that I was kind of going through and the feelings that I was going through and the emotions I was going through, I felt like I needed God and I needed some kind of savior, you know? It's kind of interesting how that song turned into a song about love and about losing someone that you love. Um, and not even necessarily losing someone, but just missing them. So if, if you're in a long distance relationship, if you, um, you know, have someone that is in the military in their way, this song is for you. I say, can he send you right back where you belong with me in my arms, you know? The harmonica just made this like yearning feeling and that's what the song is really about. It's about yearning for someone and like I need you, I need, I need you here next to me. So last night, as you saw, it was really cold. I just kind of went home and went to sleep. Today I'm meeting my friends that I haven't seen in a really long time. We haven't all been together since, dang, I think like last year was the last time we were all together. We've all known each other since like middle school. Long time friends and two of my friends are actually pregnant right now. And this is going to be a small brunch for my friend Sarah, who's due in October, and my other friend is due like any moment, actually. We're all just going to meet up, have brunch at a place called Lighthouse Cafe in Newport. So I'll vlog a little bit there. You already met my two friends, Adriana and Haley, when I went to dinner with them in Highland Park. So today you're going to meet Sarah and Steph, and then Haley and Adriana will also be there. It's going to be super nice to see them. Lighthouse Cafe, this is my friend Sarah, and we're just waiting to get seated right now, but it's a pretty cute place. My hat looks huge right now. She's due any minute now. <laughs> and yeah, it's a nice day. Well, my friend Steph had to go. And now we're walking to... Where are we walking to? Baja, Baja Sharkies. Now we're walking to Baja Sharkies. Baja Fresh. Baja Fresh. Baja Fresh. And it feels really good outside. It's pretty warm. Beautiful day. Beautiful. Beautiful day. Yeah. Taking a pregnant lady to a bar. Taking a pregnant lady to a bar. Wait. Did you get me an advertisement? Oh, yeah. Okay, big video. Okay. Cheers. 